Ready? Going to order the meeting of the Parks and Rec Commission on June 8th, 2016. Uh, roll call. Jimenez, here. Dretz here. Bola Golf here. Fryer here. Marmin. Kavino present. Uh, next up is the adoption of tonight's agenda. I move that we adopt the agenda. Well, I, I have one question. Okay. Um, on the second page under old business, I just... Uh, that's approval of the mi minutes. Um, that's last minutes. We're on tonight's agenda. Adoption of I'm tonight's sorry, agenda. Me. So we had, a, we had a motion. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Now, uh, approval of the minutes from the last meeting. Thank you. Um, I just have one question on page two. Under old business department budget recommendations to council. Is that a typo city council on May 19th, 2016, or should it be June 15th? Not at the time. It was, we were anticipating presenting the overall budget to council on May 19th. So at the time, that was what we had said. Okay. Council has just delayed it until June okay. 15th. Okay. Okay. And uh, I ha also had one item, and that's on a uh, capital projects list. Uh, Recreation Manager, Commissioner Fire discussed having a marquee at Mission Blue Center as opposed to electronic sign at the corner of Mission Blue Drive. That maybe mischaracterizes a little bit that conversation that we had, which was about there are these two different ideas and one costs a lot, one costs less. So is there a way that we can amend this maybe to reflect that it's not uh, as opposed to, but that it is a uh, in addition to? Uh, any other changes? Shall we entertain a motion to approve the minutes? I make a motion we approve the minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, do we have any citizens' communications? Yes, we do. C come, up, come up to the... Uh, you have to come to the microphone. Yeah, come to the microphone. <coughs> and state your name for people watching. My name's Eric Friedman. Okay. Uh, here with my wife, Judy. Mm -hmm. Been uh, residents of Brisbane for several years now, and uh, we have a concern about uh, uh, the pinatas in the park uh, that uh, are, are there. The folks are leaving chocolate everywhere. It's just and and it's toxic to dogs. So we bring our dog there, and several other people, of course, do as well. And uh, it's just gotten worse. And and, and uh, so this last Sunday. Uh, I had a nice conversation with a, a family there that was going to have a uh, a pinata, and I just I told them I said, well, if they could please be careful about picking up the ch chocolate, and and that uh, we've had some dogs getting sick and so forth, and they were very nice about it, and they they talked to the kids, and they they it just went very well. But as my wife and I were walking down the sidewalk, someone else in their party. Uh, approached us, very hostile, and mm. said, is this a, a, a people's park or a dog park? And mm. just, and, and just uh, uh, was saying, well, you know, one of the dogs had, had uh, 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 left their feces there and it wasn't cleaned up, and he was very agitated by that. And the next uh, day, uh, actually that evening as well, there was more, there was more chocolate than we'd ever seen. It's as though it was like a retaliation type of. It was everywhere. It was just unbelievable, mm -hmm. and and some of it was in the gazebo. They had smashed it with their feet, so that it couldn't be picked up. You know, so we're picking up handfuls and handfuls of chocolate, and and uh, uh, that wasn't the first time. It's been an ongoing problem. It's gotten worse. Sometimes there's several pinatas, and you know, pinatas are great. Everybody loves pinatas, but. But when they're handled so irresponsibly, and when dogs are getting sick, and when it could be to toxic uh, mm -hmm. to dogs, uh, uh, we felt that we wanted to come and, and, mm -hmm. and raise that issue. Mm -hmm. That uh, uh, we think there possibly they should be banned from the from the park, uh, mm -hmm. uh, based on uh, the, the way things have been going. For a while, there, of course, you know, you had an, an officer, or someone. Uh, watching over and, and no longer is that the case that might have been helpful 
but but uh, th this was just so so bad, you know. And, and uh, uh, Linda, who works uh, at the park in the morning, she said she just never had seen it worse, you know. Mm -hmm. And garbage was, of course, just just terrible as well. And and uh, you know, as I say, we couldn't have handled it more diplomatically than we did. Mm -hmm. And and uh, it, it was it was, uh, and when we're we're concerned, you know, there's there's a a lot of very responsible dog owners that, that do pick up after their dogs. People are really good about that. And uh, just had to bring up that issue about the pinatas because mm -hmm. it's just it's just gotten uh, uh, worse and worse. And that was the worst. Mm -hmm. I mean, cl clearly, that was a, a, a retaliation type mm -hmm. deal there. You know. Well, thank you for bringing that to our attention. Um, staff, is there, what are our, I'm, I'm assuming these are, these are renters that are coming in, and is there, is there anything that we can do on our end to reinforce Well, you don't necessarily have to rent the park to be in the park, mm -hmm. so they may not all be um, renting it. Um, this is, you know, this isn't before the commission tonight, so probably what you may want to do is have the, your infrastructure Subcommittee, mm -hmm. talk about it at a future date. I'm thinking that's probably your best. And the infrastructure Maybe. subcommittee is? Facilities. Or facilities. 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 Right. <coughs> Recreational facilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK, well, thank you for bringing that to our attention. And okay. we will Thanks begin for your time. I appreciate you yeah. You're welcome. giving me that opportunity. OK. Uh, any other public comment? Yes. <coughs> Hello, Commissioners. My name is Nancy Laxamana, and I'm Humboldt Road. I actually brought this letter to the um, City Council members last week by email, and I will send it to you as well. I realize I should really approach you first. I'm here to talk or request that you consider in your budget um, before school care at BES for an hour or two in the morning. The dynamics of the community continue to change. People have to work. They have to get to school. They, and it's, it's really, really um, concerning that you do see children in the schoolyard before school. And I believe it's 8.15 before the school community actually has somebody on the playground. So um, my request is for you to consider for the 2016 recreation budget before school recreation su supervision at Brisbane Elementary. As our son was growing up, we as a family were fortunate to be able to cover getting him to school and activities. Many families, due to long hours at work and commuting, do not have that luxury, and this puts a lot of stress on the family. The school does not have supervised yard attendance till 8 or 8.15. Having before school care is common in many towns, but not in Brisbane. Some as early as 6 o'clock, but I would propose 7 to 8.15. Having before school care is safer for children who do need to be supervised, less stress for families, providing another service in our great community. According to a comment on the Brisbane Education Facebook, Panorama, our sister school in Daly City, does have before school care. Um, and I did speak to somebody, they believe it was c it's covered by the Daly City Recreation, which I understand they have a, a much bigger budget than we do. Um, I would like to recommend that options are explored as part of this next year's budget, and this may require some research by staff. I have a number of citizens who have messaged me that they feel this is an issue and should be explored. Yaniksa Albino, Jessica Aloff, Christina Harbridge, Richard Cutler, Linda Montenegro Detmer, Karen Smith, Elna Miller, Therese Stucky Nogber, Penny O'Connor, and myself. Um, so I will send it, uh, an email to all of you so you have a copy for your records. But if you could consider it, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Thanks. Thank you for coming and talking to us. Uh, uh, Stuart, a discussion like that would need to be then also put agendized. on. Agendized. And how would we go about doing that? You could uh, ask for it at your next meeting. You can have your recreation programs mm -hmm. subcommittee look at it first. Okay. And that's his. Uh, that is um, Lyle mm -hmm. and Teresa and David mm -hmm. on that subcommittee. Okay, uh, moving on, old business, uh, day in the park and Derby update. <coughs> 
Teresa, I'm Teresa. looking at you. <laughs> I thought so. Um, the Day in the Park and Derby update. Uh, did we meet last before the last meeting or after? I can't after remember. I think it was the following week after our meeting. Okay. Um, we talked about um, having someone go to City Council and request more uh, in the budget for this event, which I did, and I did personally, and we did, and it was approved. So that's the big news, and um, I, that's really, that's really all there is to the update. Nothing new on top of everything else we've already discussed that I can recall. That's it. Just that we've been approved for the additional eighty-five hundred dollars for this year only. Oh, good. But yes, we're excited to explore some of the new ideas that the commission had and make the event a really special one. So, good, great job, Teresa. Yes, I, I was actually at the meeting that Teresa made that presentation, and she did do a really wonderful job. And it's good to have this extra funding for our 30th right. anniversary, and uh, look forward to it. Anything Thank else you. on this? No, I watched you. You did a very good job. Oh, mm -hmm. thanks. Yes. Uh, okay, new business then. Uh, Club Lipman presentation. And, and excuse me, I need to remove myself from this portion. Commission. I'd just like to thank you. Uh, my name is Michelle Chan. I'm an employee at Littman Middle School and um, wanted to thank you for the time to come and speak to you and present to you about uh, Club Littman in our second year now. And um, so I have a slide that I just wanted to share and um, basically just kind of an update as to how we're doing in our second year now. Um, kind of have uh, figured out a lot of what works and uh, what volunteers we can go to, what classes seem to go over really well, and um, so we really feel like we really hit the ground running this year. Um, so basically our objective was to create a supportive place for teens to engage in healthy, um, enriching activities, um, keeping them engaged after the school day, and um, it provides increased supervisions for teens and preteens um, during the afternoon and early evening hours. Um, improves academic achievement and emotional well-being of our students and um, also our objective is to provide an access to enrichment opportunities that many of our students might not otherwise have and um, our student involvement um, basically in our busiest times of the year which are spring and fall um, because of the weather and we have a lot more outdoor activities and um, you know more daylight we've got about 52 to 54 percent of our students that are participating which equates to about 80 students um, out of our 160 population and we offer a variety of um, activities that are led by um, summer academic support, the larger portion. Um, we've got enrichment activities and then social activities, just social interaction, you know, between peers. Um, we've got the largest amount um, are led by school staff. And we've got a few contracting agencies that we work with for certain classes and then a few by community volunteers as well. Sorry. And so some of the classes that we have are homework club, we have ceramics and um, gardening club, um, our clubhouse, which is um, just kind of activities and board games and um, kind of a little more of a social environment. We have mountain um, environment uh, where they're hiking up on San Bruno Mountain and studying animals and different habitats up there. We have uh, cooking classes that are really popular, uh, guitar, as well as um, introduction to construction and um, Java Minecraft uh, junior lifeguarding that the pool staff has brought to our after school program and as well as a swimming class that's a little bit more of a, a skill building class that we have there. And then this is just another breakdown of, you know, kind of to give you an idea how many clubs are academic versus enrichment and social interaction and um, how many are led by staff um, versus, again, contracting agencies or volunteers. So we just uh, change the classes that we offer along with our trimester. So at the beginning of each trimester, we have a different um, opportunity to sign up for different classes um, to try something new or maybe try something that you definitely know that you're interested in. And again, these are just a listing of, you know, the homework uh, club and the other clubs that we mix in. Um, I think the one difference might have been that we did a volleyball clinic in the 
winter to be inside, and we've brought in things like chess before. Um, just a few more indoor. Uh, we had a Java Minecraft, which um, introduces students to Java programming using Microsoft. So, you know, <coughs> seasons change. We vary how many things we have that are outdoor activities versus indoor. And um, again, you know, how many are led by staff versus contracting and community for the um, final trimester that we um, are just finishing right now. <coughs> And um, again, you know, the different activities. So again, more outside because we are getting into better weather. And we had a gardening club that we were able to add in and the kids are taking something to the county fair. And um, basically, this is just a listing of criteria of an effective after school program. And so it's kind of something that we hold ourselves accountable to and our, our goal of, you know, what we want to do as a, an effective after school program with our kids and with our community. And, um, you know, so we're always re reaching back to this and feeling that we're doing a pretty good job of, of meeting many of the criteria here. And um, this is just a sample of uh, an ex expectations because we do want the kids to follow our school rules after school and we want everyone to feel welcomed. And so we um, send this out to our school community and the kids have to sign a permission slip and kind of a contract that they'll you know, behave when they're with us after school. And then feedback that we've gotten from our um, community is that there's a diverse group of students attending. There's a wide range of activities that we offer. It's helpful to parents who work and need after school supervision. Uh, there's less homework to be completed during after school and evening hours that are often, you know, busy hours with sports and extracurriculars. We have assistance that's available from adults present, including the ability to reach out to our teachers um, who are there off, often after school, as well as collaborate with other students, which is a really um, valuable time for them to have together, and that the clubs are fun. And um, so we're really proud of the program that we've been able to put together, and it just keeps growing and expanding, and we have new ideas brought to us and people from the community that reach out to us about um, something that they'd like to share. Um, we really appreciate that we have community involvement and volunteers that come up and help lead clubs with us. And um, we really appreciate the support that we've gotten from the city of Brisbane to help us to be able to bring a program like this to our students. So just wanted to come and kind of give you an idea what's going on this year, our second year, and also to thank you. Um, don't know if you have any questions for me or... Uh, well, thank you very much for the presentation, Michelle. Yes, it's, uh, it sounds like a really great um, program. Uh, did anybody have any thoughts, co questions, comments? I'm, I'm impressed with what they do. <coughs> mm -hmm. They do a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We really try and, and uh, get a lot of bang for our buck and um, just pull in a lot of different activities so there's kind of something for everyone. And another interesting aspect is sometimes a student will try something and they might try something for the first time that might have seemed like something they might not be interested in and they find out that they are and um, having friends that are there with them you know is intriguing as well or sometimes they meet other people that they might not um, be with on a regular basis and and they meet through a shared activity um, so it's been a really rewarding experience and we really are valuable um, the program that we have there good um, I did have one question, uh, and this is maybe as, as much for staff. Is this the, the program that we put in place after we closed down the teen center? Yes. Yes. Well, it's really great for me to see this. I was on the commission at the time that we decided to close down the teen center or recommend to close down the teen center. It was a difficult decision to make. I think we spent a year sort of studying it, and then we said, well, we'll take these funds and do other things with it and to have this come back and see such a wonderful program um, right. you know helps take the sting out of no, I, out I of that was really closing that that facility so Michelle thank you very much oh, for, for coming I have to express it's a lovely feeling to leave in the afternoon <coughs> and have our school to be so thriving you know late into the day and kids that don't want to leave our school and I have my own daughter who's participated in a lot of the activities and she's going to miss it when she goes to high school that's one of the things that she's expressed that she'll miss and um, she's representative of many so we really appreciate it and value yeah and, and this seems so much more robust in uh, in uh, interacting with really preteens, which is what the teen center was more about, than what the teen center had become at the time we decided. Right. So it's really an enriching experience and as much for the kids as it is for me and the staff that are around and the adults that we bring into the program. It's a nice time for them to connect with teachers outside of the regular school day. Mm -hmm. So it builds kind of a different relationship um, and it's just really rewarding all around. So we really can't say how much we appreciate it. <coughs> well, thank you so much, Michelle, for thank coming you. in and presenting to thank us. Thank you.
Uh, next up on the agenda is the facility name, uh, naming policy, and we maybe want to bring Renee back in. So, is this a, a, a staff report, or how, where, how do we start with this? We've got the, the draft with us who... We do. So, the <coughs> Parks and Recreations <laughs> Facility Committee met here <coughs> last <coughs> month, or earlier this month, earlier last month, and they reviewed a number of different policies for naming uh, recreation parks and recreation facilities from different cities throughout the state and some throughout the country. Uh, they reviewed it, and before what you have before you tonight is a draft of what they thought would be appropriate for our community. If you'd like, we could go through it section by section, or if people have questions, or if the uh, committee members would like to talk to it. Commissioners? Whatever you want to do, I'm here. Uh, subcommittee, would the subcommittee like to speak to it? Who, who is the who subcommittee? Is that? The facilities, whoever. It's us. It's us. Yes. It's Would us. you like to make some comments? Uh, uh, well, so <coughs> I wasn't able to attend the meeting. I did send um, some of my comments about the naming facility via email to, to Karen, a member of the subcommittee as well. And I see that those are captured, I guess, in, in the, the, the criteria for naming is what I was looking for, that it represents the area where we live, Brisbane, more than potentially a, a person always. So it's got some more, you know, it's going to represent Brisbane, the city of stars, the, where we live, the area, what the, the neighborhood is, is part of the, the criteria for naming a facility. So that's what I was looking to have versus just calling it someone's name, this or that. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And we wanted to make sure that that was kind of listed because you don't know, there could be some people that would give us a large donation. So we kind of covered that area and they're also a large donation to well, name it after them. You know, well, if somebody <laughs> gives you fifty thousand dollars, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you have a low <laughs> rent, <laughs> you, you might take some things into consideration, right. um, but or what their requests were. Mm -hmm. But we tried to cover all the bases, as you can see, and um, I think we did a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just for you to look at and I don't know where you want to go from there with this. Uh, any other thoughts? Wording. I had uh, uh, two little small things. Yes, I had two small things. Uh, and I, I just wanted to clarify that this that this was written in here, and I'm fine with it. Uh, and it's under definition. So this policy only applies to basically new facilities, Fac facilities that have been made, uh, have been open since uh, 2015, it says, those that are built after 2015. So if there is a, a uh, uh, interest in changing the name of an, of an older established facility, that discussion would come under the purview of some other kind of vehicle. Is that right? And that's intentional. I'm, I'm that is intentional. I mean, if somebody, if there's a desire to name something prior to 2015, I would imagine we'd go through the same process that we would, you know, that we saw before. Somebody would come before the Parks and Recreation Commission or come before the City Council and make that rec make that suggestion. If it's a park, parks or recreation facility, I would imagine the council would re refer it back to the commission and then you could decide how you would want to go through that process. You can use this as a structure for how you would go through the process or you can pick a different method. Okay, I just want to make sure that distinction was intentional. And then on page two, as I was reading through this, we, we need to just change the wording a little bit because it was a little unclear. It says the committee will solicit names from the community and potential users of the park. And when I first read that, I thought that meant they would solicit names of community members for this process. But I think what that means is they would solicit uh, 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 names for the facility from the community and potential. So I thought maybe if we could just add a word or something that makes that a little less confusing. Sure. 
uh, and that's all that I had. What's next with this? Uh, if we this goes to the city council next for yes. approval, or what's mm -hmm. the next? What's the next steps, Stuart? Uh, the city so we would go to the city council for their approval, and then after the city council has their you know if they approve it or make any changes, then the question would be you know there's been a request to name the skateboard park, so we'd go through a process for naming the skateboard park using this. This criteria. This criteria. And do we need to make a motion to yes. send this up? Yes, you need to recommend it to the city council. And so we you need to make the motion. With that one change about the, we'll solicit. Or anything else that the, any of the other commissioners would want to. Yes. So what's your pleasure, other commissioners? Do we? Um, I think we send it on to the council. So someone, would someone like to make a motion? That I'll make a motion that we send this on to the city council for approval. So what's the correction going to be? Um, basically, I think what, what I heard from Commissioner Fry, mm -hmm. Fryer was the committee will solicit names for the, I would say for the park recreational facility or area from the community and potential users. That would or work. From, the, from potential users and the community, or something like that. That would work. Right. The, <coughs> sorry, the other criteria I'd see for um, making improvements to it before we sent it is on the procedure section. Uh, if it truly is a procedure, it should read in a stepwise manner what, what precedes what in regards of a procedure. I, I'm, I'm assuming this is in order of how we would proceed, but it's not annotated or, or notated that way. Mm -hmm. So I think we should set apart with the procedure that is what is one, what's two, what's three, what is the order in which the process should happen, the procedure. Sure. Remember then, yeah, yeah, that's what's missing for me. So can we go, uh, uh, with that addition, can yes. we go ahead and pass it tonight? We, we can pass it with, with the addition of the correction of the names and of numeric-ing okay. numeric the procedure number. And, yeah. and this can go in numer numerical order under procedure. We have this in, I haven't read it for that kind of thing. In, in reading through it, it looks that. Mm -hmm. It looks that mm -hmm. right. Direction, yes. So we need to make those, with those two amendments. So would you like to restate your, yes. your motion? Yes. To include that? Motion that we send this to the city council with some uh, additional wording. Mm -hmm. Right? And the numbering under the procedure. And the numbering. Okay. Uh, do we have a second? I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, Next item up under new business is review commission work plan. Right, so we put this on here because the facility subcommittee met to discuss the work plan and hopefully either Renee or Lyle would be willing to speak about the process that they used to update the work plan. The strategy was that we would have the subcommittees meet at that level to indicate what the strategies and the activities and tasks or action items would be for each of our respective goals. So the facilities subcommittee was the first group to go ahead and do that. Um, and I've provided here the updates that they've given to the work plan so that the rest of the commission can review and use as a framework for uh, the upcoming subcommittee meetings that will be taking place in order to update the other areas of the commission work plan. Any thoughts or questions? None from us, from questions from the rest of the commissioners in regards to what we did. I mean, as you can see, what we did is there were some tasks that were outlined and we added other activities and tasks and then kind of gave a, a potential starting, if they're starting soon, future things, et cetera, planning, mm -hmm. planning our goals, mm -hmm. planning to our, our objectives. Mm -hmm. Other commissioners? Uh, I just uh, just wanted to ask Noreen, so we will we will get updates of this on a regular basis? Right, as the subcommittees meet to update the work plan, they will bring it back to the commission for review and input. Um, and part of the idea today was that we would schedule those additional subcommittee meetings between now and our next meeting mm -hmm. so that some of this work on the work plan could be accomplished. Mm -hmm. well, uh, when I saw this, I, I really liked it. It was really clean and easy to understand and, and a really uh, great method for for tracking our goals and, and how we're doing on, on, on addressing them. So I was pleased to see it. Anything else? Mm -hmm. All right. I, th I liked it. 
Okay, uh, moving on. Let's see. Uh, reports, uh, Chairperson. I just wanted to make a note that um, while the minutes, uh, the minutes from the last meeting reflected that Karen Lentz was going to be the commissioner who would who would be present at the uh, city council meeting where they discuss uh, budget requests from the Parks and Rec Commission that she has asked me to do that. So that is, uh, a, is a change. So I will be doing that. My understanding is that that is at the next Wednesday uh, meeting. So I'll be there to answer any questions that they have about our uh, request going to the budget. Um, let's see, uh, subcommittee reports. Uh, recreational facilities, discussing name, name policy, we kind of covered that. Is there anything else that you'd like to, to bring forward? No. No. Okay. Uh, public art, I will maybe speak to that just uh, really briefly. We have had another um, uh, very interesting meeting. I always enjoy these discussing the implementation guidelines for the public arts ordinance, which passed in October of 2014. Uh, we don't have anything to bring to you yet. We made some progress. Uh, we're at the stage where we are really trying to put together different models of, of who and how we put together committees and so on. Uh, we have another meeting scheduled. Maybe we have two meetings before our next, uh, so. before our next commission meeting, and maybe by that time we actually will have a, a first look at a draft for the implementation guidelines for, for everybody to look at and, and, uh, and have a go at. Um, any other subcommittees that need to report? That's it? Okay, setting subcommittee meetings. Uh, coming up. We have one for uh, for public arts uh, already scheduled. What other um, uh, subcommittees need to meet? Do we need to, do we want to move forward and have the uh, recreational facilities meet to uh, do an overview of uh, the um, um, comment. comment brought forward by, by the citizen? Is that would that be a good thing to do, to review what the policies are and bring it yeah, to us? That, that would as well as, as in, in the recreational yeah. programs meeting as well for other citizen comments. Right. So we've got two Ooh, citizen two two feedback. Yeah. Okay. Meet on. And do you want to put a date on the calendar now? The programs and rec facilities. No. Oh, you're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, did you want to put a date on the calendar now, or did you want to, to do a zillion emails to, uh, to yeah. try to find that? It would be great if we could try to do that okay. now and see how that works out. So. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Karen's not here, so it's up to uh, you, too. You pick a date and. When, it, when will she be back? I don't think she's going to be gone that okay. long. No. I think okay. she'll be back. Um, well, it's next kind week. Of your schedule, Lyle. <laughs> um, so nights work okay. for me. Um, most nights except for Tuesday nights work for me. Okay. And can be early as, as five. Okay. So pretty wide open. Okay, well I am too, so. So, yes. so, so knowing that, maybe since Karen's not here, maybe uh, if I wait until she gets back, I can get with her since I kind of know what your guys' schedule is and try to work that and then just let you guys know. Because it would be too hard for you guys to pick something now. And then okay. Yep. Is that, so any night okay. but Tuesday, right? Any night but Tuesday, and I can start as early as 5. Okay. Okay. Uh, any other subcommittees that need to meet concerts in the park? Well, we will have concerts. Recreational programs, which is um, Lyle, David, and myself needs to meet to yes. discuss Nancy. Yes. So mm -hmm. that one you will also email about, or well, are you um, going to set that now since yeah. the three of us I are think here? David would be the one who's the most difficult as far as time wise. No, I mean, different <laughs> personality one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it is. I mean, it just it, it depends. and. You're usually s after 6.30 though, right? After 6.30 and then okay. to be, I mean, literally the next week and a half, depending upon what happens with some things in the outside world, we'll see what happens and then that, my schedule is really largely dictated by that. And I think we have time though because we're not meeting next month. Okay. So we have a little more time to get that together. So I'll, I'll get a hold of you guys. So there's not a rush on it 
because of the budget stuff. I mean, because we're going to be asking, I mean, they're asking us to add it to the budget. So I'm wondering if that puts a different time constraint on it. No. Okay. Okay. I'll get in touch with you guys then. Okay. The three of you. There's not really a possibility for you. It's on. It was, it was on. on. It's really, it would be really difficult for you as a commission to have a subcommittee and a meeting prior to adoption of the budget on June 30th. Fingers crossed. Uh, so it would just be a supplemental appropriation request at the time. So as long as it can happen sometime before the start of the school year. So you would probably want to look at it in your August meeting okay. and refer it as quickly as you can at that point. Okay. Got it. And we have to meet with the art team. <coughs> yes, we've already got we've already got, got a, a time. Date. We've already got a date for, for it's the in public July, arts. Isn't it? Yeah, yes. Excuse me, can you give me that date? Ooh. I didn't pass it on yet. <coughs> Just give me a minute. Pass it on yet. <clears throat> I'm guessing the 20th. Uh, I have the 13th of July <laughs> at 4.30. At 4.30, right? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Uh, concerts in the park, that will have... have be well underway before our next meeting, but right. is there any, there's not really any reason for us to no. meet prior to that? I don't think so. Um, Teresa? I guess not. I think it's, I mean, I, I still don't think, uh, we were supposed to have a meeting, and um, the meeting was canceled, and I think we got an email from Steve just saying, like, everything's handled, and there's not going to be food trucks, and um, so... Uh, do you see a need for us to meet beyond this point for anything? No? It'll yes. just, okay. So our next meeting would be, be the postmortem when it's done and, and right. where we, we'll review what went well and what can be improved and so on. Right. Okay. okay. So um, you're not having any food trucks for any of the concerts or just one? Uh, none is my understanding. Okay. So staff researched several food food truck companies um, in the area, and they, they reached out to I think about 25 or 30 different businesses, um, but unfortunately none of them were willing to commit to come during the summer concerts. Um, were just not as enticing as other larger events in the area, and um, they it, it wouldn't prove to be very cost effective for them essentially. I, I did after getting that email from I'm just remembering after getting the email from Steve, I I asked him specifically about two vendors that I had talked with and who were both very excited and said their calendars were open and available. And when I asked him he said that, Oh, I'm sorry I didn't call those ones, but I will. So would like to know. Yeah, I can follow up, up with him that. and ask that he follow up with that the, was the, the, the Cajun and the Creole Okay. style food. There okay. were two different vendors that did that and both said they'd be free and would like to do it. Okay, I'll ask him for an update and then ask that he um, email the subcommittee to follow up. Mm. Okay. okay, perfect. And Brisbane Derby, Day in the Park, there, that's set. There's no need for a subcommittee meeting before August? Um, I think, yeah. We I think we would like to meet now that we have the need to plan. additional funding, okay. I think. Yeah. Did you want to find So we now? should meet? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> I mean, I st I, you know, we don't really have all the planning set right. yet. So right. I, th I think we should. Mm -hmm. it's and David. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> once um, things that are happening right now are mm -hmm. done in the next week or so or less, hopefully, David will be a little more available. So... <laughs> We'll go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and email you guys and we'll, I'll get it together. Again, we're not having a meeting next month, so we have a little more time just to get it together, but I know that one's probably more important than yeah, I any think, of them. I don't think it's dependent on a meeting and discussing no. it. It's more dependent on getting the stuff done. So, yeah. so I'll put that planning. first ahead of okay. the other one. All right. Okay. Thank you. And does that cover the subcommittee meetings that... No, I might okay. also propose that the teen subcommittee meeting happens. Um, we've been talking about that for all my meetings. I'm sorry, <laughs> Teresa. <laughs> but we're not having a commission meeting next month, so we have time. We have the next couple of months to spread these meetings out. But um, because that is a large chunk of our work plan as well was teen yeah. services, mm -hmm. um, 
I think it would be wise for that sub subcommittee to meet. I agree. Yeah. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then moving on, commissioners. Any items commissioners want to bring up? I have nothing. Nothing. <clears throat> nothing from me. You? Okay. Uh, staff, uh, program report. Uh, just a few items. We have our preschool graduation tomorrow. We have 14 little ones graduating to kindergarten, and then we have 15 new incoming preschoolers for the fall they're already confirmed so we're at our max capacity for the fall already which is exciting um, for those of you who may not already be aware the skate park ribbon cutting ceremony is this saturday at the skate park at 10 a.m um, we have a new summer intern in our department for the next 15 weeks it, his name is trevor greenlaw you some of you may know him he's been working at the pool for the last eight plus years um, but he in order to complete his bachelor's degree from san francisco state university he has to complete a full-time internship so he'll be working on special projects with us over the summer we're excited to have him on board for that we will be facilitating our annual staff training next week with our aquatic staff and our camp staff in preparation for the summer camps begin on monday june 20th and i believe that's when swim lessons begin as well and then the summer concert series kicks off on July 8th. That's all I have. Thank you. If I may, through the chair, I just, I did remember I have something. I just want to say thank you. The play structure in the community park is looking lovely. Thank you. <laughs> uh, written communications? I have nothing. Anybody have anything? Uh, commission calendar. August. So we will not be meeting next month. Um, and I, do we have anything at the moment that we're ready to put on the calendar for August? Did we discuss anything that we want to? It'll be, it'll be stuff coming. <laughs> it'll be everything coming out of the, the subcommittee. So you probably will be looking at the issues of uh, piñatas at the park. You'll be looking at the program for uh, before school care. Those two will definitely be there. You'll probably also talk about your day in the park to talk about what's going to happen for that. You'll probably talk about how the concerts in the park went or, or just finishing up. So you'll have a lot. That also, also possibly the first uh, showing reading of the, uh, of the public arts implementation guidelines. Or is you that are being quite optimistic. I think we've got two meetings before then. and Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, is that everything? Did we cover everything? Our, our guidelines, and we'll probably we'll find out if the city council um, approved it. The guidelines for um, naming. Yes. Uh, yeah, we'll find that out, and also uh, will we know by then? We'll know by then where we stand with uh, our budget requests. So that's actually quite a bit. Yeah, the, they'll adopt the budget hopefully on June thirtieth, right. and then the other. The other update we'll have will be to the work plan. Yeah. So right. we'll have that on the agenda as well. I also, I will not be at the meeting August 10th. I'll be out of town. Okay. Anything else? I can't think of anything else. Uh, so I do this by a motion. I move to adjourn. Mm -hmm. Is that how we do it? Uh, so, you know, somebody makes a motion. I, how does this, how does that? I make the motion. I move that we adjourn the meeting of the Parks and Rec Commission on June 8th, 2016. 7.13 p.m. Uh, at 7, yo, oh, at 7.13 p.m., thank you. Can I have a second? Second. Please. All in favor? Gavel. Aye. Aye. Gavel. Hit the gavel. <laughs> you did well. Okay.